Hey everyone, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my favorite BoxyCharm products of 2018. So basically all of my favorite things that we got in our subscription box for the entire year. I don't have too many products because I really wanted these to be like my absolute favorite products. We do get a lot of products in BoxyCharm over the year, but these are definitely the best products that I think we got all year. So before I get into all of my favorite BoxyCharm products, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'm also doing a huge giveaway right now, so if you guys wanna enter that, I will have a link in my description box below. Today's post notification shout out goes to Moonlight's Edge. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on. You are so sweet and I appreciate all of your kind words. If you guys wanna be the next post notification shout out, make sure you guys click the bell next to the subscribe button and and leave me a comment that you have your notifications on. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm not really gonna go through these in any particular order. I'm just gonna kind of pick them up and show them to you guys because that would just take forever if I were to go month by month. So my first favorite is no surprise to you guys. It was in my top five most used eyeshadow palettes video. I will leave it in the card somewhere up here if you guys wanna go watch that video. This is the ColourPop You Had Me At Hello eyeshadow palette. There was the month that we got a ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I believe everyone got like different palettes. Like there was a bunch of different palettes that you could get. I got this one and this is the one that I was actually wanting. So I was really excited to get this palette. It has such pretty shades in here. I use this all the time. This is like my favorite everyday eyeshadow palette. If you guys want to hear more of my thoughts and opinions on this palette, make sure to go check out that video the top five most used eyeshadow palettes video. But yeah, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites that I've ever gotten in a BoxyCharm, but definitely one of my favorites for this year. My next favorite is a primer. This is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This primer reminds me so much of the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, which you guys know I love that primer. This just makes your skin look so smooth. It has like this like nude like tone to it and when you put it on your skin just looks like there's like a veil over your skin it just looks so pretty it smooths all of your pores out i wouldn't say that this necessarily makes my makeup last longer but i love the way that this looks on my skin i feel like it just makes my foundation go on so smooth my next favorite that we got this year is another eyeshadow palette this is the crown fuego eyeshadow palette this is a really pretty warm toned palette. I love these shades. They have zero fallout at all. They just blend out so nice and smooth. I will show you guys some of the shades. Here are some of the shades. Let me show you guys a shimmery shade. I love this shade right here. It's so pretty. It's almost like a duochrome type of shade. I think this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes that we've gotten in our BoxyCharm. I feel like Crown is a really good brand. I love their brushes. I feel like they're another like really underrated makeup brand. My next favorite might surprise you guys. I know a lot of people do not like this product, but it is the Pretty Vulgar the Ink Gel Eyeliner. I'm not sure why some of us really like this eyeliner or some of us really hate it. It's either like people like it or they don't like it. I personally thought it was a great gel eyeliner. I know the packaging is not people's favorite because you do have to like dip way down in there to get the eyeliner out so it is like, it's a little weird, but I really like the product. I feel like it just goes on so like smooth and creamy and it dries down, it doesn't move. I had zero issues with this eyeliner. I feel like this was like one of the first gel eyeliners that I ever used that just made it so easy to do winged liner. It just goes on so smooth. I don't know, I really like this eyeliner. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. I would love to know who else really likes this eyeliner and I would love to know who does not like this eyeliner. I personally feel like it's one of the better products that we got this year. Since we're already talking about Pretty Vulgar, we got another product from this brand. This is the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush. Mine is in the shade number 18, Hush Blush. I love the packaging of this, even though it looks like kind of old school and like, I don't know, not like the most modern looking packaging, but I am obsessed with this blush shade. It is like the perfect everyday blush shade. I know that some people got like different shades of blush. Here's what mine looks like right there. Um, but I am so glad that I got this shade because I know some people got like a super like bright hot pink blush shade and they were not a fan. Um, this blush is very, very pigmented. So you do have to go in light handed with it. 
but it does blend out very easily. I love the way that this looks on my cheeks. I wear this all the time. I highly recommend this blush if you guys did not get it in your BoxyCharm. My next favorite is another eyeshadow palette. This is from the brand Alomar Cosmetics. This palette is seriously stunning, you guys. I am obsessed with this palette. All of the shades in here have great pigmentation. Let me just show you guys the mattes really quick. Like, look at those shades. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the shimmery shades as well. I have used every single shade in this palette and I love all of them. And then here are these shimmery shades. Like, how pretty are these shadows? Like, I feel like this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes that we got this year as well. It's not as wearable as the ColourPop palette, but honestly, I feel like these shadows in here are better quality than the ColourPop ones. I was really excited when I saw that we were getting this palette and I still love this palette and it's definitely one of the best ones that we got all year. So my next favorite BoxyCharm product that we got this year is a mascara and this is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Every time I wear this mascara, I get compliments on how long my lashes look. This mascara seriously makes your lashes look so long and it is a very, very black mascara, which I love. It does flake a little bit more than my other like favorite mascara, which is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Mascara, but this one is really good as well. I love that we get products from IT Cosmetics, which is like a higher end brand in our box. We are almost through all of my favorite products. The next one is from the brand Cover FX, and this is their Shimmer Veil like liquid eyeshadow. Some people did not like this product, and I'm not sure why. This is very similar to the Stila Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows. I personally loved this product. It's seriously just so pretty. I have only ever tried this shade. Mine is in the shade Amethyst, but I am like obsessed with this shade. I feel like the camera is not picking this up as pretty as it is in real life. I love using this type of liquid eyeshadow just like all over the lid. It's super easy and quick and these do dry down pretty fast. And then my last favorite product from BoxyCharm this year is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Posh. I got this in, I think it was my January box, so the first box of 2018, and this has become my all-time favorite liquid lipstick, like, ever. I love the formula of this liquid lipstick. It's super comfortable on the lips. This is, like, the only liquid lipstick that I can wear for, like, a really long period of time, and my lips don't feel, like, super dry, and I am obsessed with this shade. I really need to pick up another one of these because I'm almost out of mine. I've been trying not to use it as much lately because I don't want to run out, but it's just seriously, like, the perfect like rosy brown toned nude love this formula super underrated brand i'm so so happy that i got this in my box so those are all of my favorite products that i got in my boxycharm box for the entire year of 2018 leave me a comment down below with what your favorite products were that we got this year i would love to hear what your favorites were so i'm gonna have all of these products linked in my description box below if you guys want to check any of them out and i'm also gonna have links to my social media accounts like my instagram twitter and facebook page also make sure you guys go enter my giveaway there will be a link for that there as well so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and make sure you guys click the post notification bell that is next to the subscribe button so you have a chance at being the next post notification shout out in one of my upcoming videos thank you so much for watching